Hold My Drink Extra Juice with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Loud original podcast, proudly supported by Pennies. Get this season's must haves in a store near you. Welcome to Hold My Drink Extra Juice with Charlene and Ellie, and this week is a special guest. Mr. Sean Phipps. Hello. 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 Swindled still. I'm still here. <laughs> swindling away. <laughs> Today's episode is kindly sponsored by Primark or Pennies, the ultimate high street destination that has everything you need this spring to make it your year, your way. Primark Pennies is the ultimate high street store that we all love and adore. I like adding that little line in because it rhymes. Pennies helps as many people as possible to afford small joys in their day-to-day lives. Let's embrace the everyday, but also remember to treat yourselves to those standout trend pieces that make us look great and feel amazing. Pennies have fab bits in at the moment. Lovely spring bits. You can start seeing the winter wardrobe leaving, which I am excited for. So whether it's stylish savings, a new double snuddy, new gym gear, or some new beauty bits, I literally have it all. You know if you ever need anything, first place you can go is pennies. So pop to a store near you now or log on to www primark.com slash ie to check out all of their pieces you can also go onto the website and check um, what's in stock in which store which is super super handy so we love you pennies love you mm-hmm. so Sean is back again woo <laughs> yeah. I've swindled them into an extra juice Still episode no. no apples were given to me yet <laughs> Poor fella's starving. So he's going to help us out with um, these extra dilemmas. Yeah, from more secrets from the stalls. Oh, so a if lot you're of reading, isn't it? Give a lot of reading. I'm going to have to sip the water. If your dilemma wasn't in the main episode on Wednesday, it could be here. Also, if you want to send in your dilemma and hopefully get it answered, uh, you can send it on to holdmydrink at goloudnow.com. We also do love getting updates. Um, so if you want to send us in an update of something that we've answered, send it in and just caption it update (laughs) and we will read it out but yeah shall we just get into this Sean let's go do you want to read the first one okay okay work away hi girls absolutely love the podcast and use my Wednesday and Mondays what I think it's use make my Wednesday I'll use make my Wednesday and Mondays a little easier here's my dilemma I graduated in 2019 Sorry, Tinder's that's popping up. (laughs) And my journey has been crazy ever since. I worked in an office support role for a year and a half and then landed my dream job this year. I was so excited about it and put my degree to work. However, it's been the worst job ever. So toxic, bad pay and management don't care. Because of it, I don't even know if this is my dream career anymore. My dilemma is I just want to quit. Everyone around me is staying and I should have a job lined up before quitting. But being emotionally drained from this job, I think I need some time off before I get into anything else. It's been a horrible few months and the thoughts of going straight into something else with a break would not do me any good. With a break, sorry. (laughs) I can't even bring myself to interviews as I'm just not ready. Should I not give a shit and just quit and not care what anyone else says? I have enough savings to get by for a while, but I'd look pretty much straight away. Thank you, girls. Get the fuck out. Quick, quick, quick. Go. No you job. You have your there. Take time out to just reflect and just get yourself back to normal. Yeah, I always say, and I know coming from somebody who works with themselves at home, it, it might look like <laughs> <laughs> it's easier said than done. But I've also done it myself a few years ago. Yes. Yeah, no job is worth your mental health. No job. And a job is a job at the end of the job, day. Job, you're a number to them. A number. If you pass away tomorrow, your job goes up on job Saturday. And then you know what I mean? You need it. to think of it like that. Like if, if you know you're in a position to be able to get yourself by for a while without a job, do it. Absolutely. Okay. Like what, Take your time it? out. Have a little giggle. I do think things people, that make you happy. Yeah, I think people just say, never leave a job without having another one sorted. Is obviously just like it's just easier to do, but it just depends if you what your background is. If you have mortgage, if you have yeah. this, the car, if you're able to do that, that's obviously do it. handier. But yeah. come here, if you're yeah, just yeah yeah. yeah, 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 if you're just not into it, leave. No, I love how the boat was that's that for us one that we're like, dive down, leave, <laughs> leave, <laughs> leave, quit. Can you tell we're quitters? No, we're not. <laughs> quitters. Um, yeah, leave, scrap that. Bye bye. I would hand in my P45. Is that what it's called? Do some things that make you so happy. Yeah. They run up to your new job and you will go in with a fresh head and you'll be so happy that yeah. you're going to... Think if you're happier in yourself, think mm-hmm. of what you can give to another job then. Give her time back that you missed out on all your happiness from the job that you hate. See, okay? we are getting so good at Sean, if I do say so myself. I'm just bomb at in general. You really are. <laughs> Great advice. So next one we have then is, Hi girls, I'm a big fan of your podcast. I have a dilemma and could really do with an outsider's take on it. I don't want to talk to my family and friends about it. 
So last week a friend of mine left to start a new life abroad and before she went we had a big leaving party for her. I was the only one not drinking that night because I offered to be the taxi for the night to make sure all the girls got home safe. Anyway, the girl who was moving away drunkenly told me that she had sex with my boyfriend twice behind my back and that it happened over the summer. Shut the fuck up. I'm still with my boyfriend and I haven't confronted him about it because I keep thinking she said she said it because she was drunk and I'm holding on to the fact that it's not true. I keep playing it over and over in my head and thinking about the fact that she could not stop laughing as she was telling me. The girl has left now and I'm here wondering whether to believe her or not. Am I stupid by thinking she made it up and should I confront my boyfriend about it? What would you do? For reference, I haven't spoken to her since she left. Also, I've been with my boyfriend for almost five years. Take this one, Ellie. <laughs> Cutting you in the shitter there. Jesus. You need to say it. Yeah. You need to say it, honestly. For your own peace of mind, you need to say it. Like, if... Yeah. I think I'd be like reverse psychology psychopath. Would I'd you? have a few drinks. I'm like, no, she told me. I'm like, it's completely fine. And then when he tells me, I'm like, get out! Why was she laughing saying it though? Like, yeah. Like... I wonder are you in a position of thinking like is it true? Could it be true? Or is this girl just That's just weird. After you trying to taxi our home. Yeah. You haven't stopped thinking about it. It's just fucking everything You your fella up. twice I'm... in the summer. Like oh I don't know. I think you need to you need to say it but the way you approach it is going to reveal the answer. Unless you text her. And go to her for us. But like, look, I know we haven't spoken since that night. I was taxi driver home. You pissed me off. You told me this. However, my head's been fucked up since. Can you let me know whether or not it's true? I yeah. don't confront this. I'm not going to hold on to someone that does this to me behind me back. Do you get oh, me? Brilliant. I love you. Was that all right? That was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So text her first. Because then you can say first. it to your fella. Yeah. Because you're, you're done with her anyway. Yeah. You get me? She has So she text her first and be like, hey, what's the story? I haven't spoken to you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah, text her and try and find out, and then you can bring that information to your fellow. Then, at least then you'll have the proof if it is true. Yeah, and if it's not, you can just tell her to go fuck herself. Yeah, she's not here she's anymore. Bitch, <laughs> leave her where she is, and then just continue on with your happy life with your lovely boyfriend. Yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like you'll always be drawing an eye over him. Then she went five years. Five years. No, yeah, do what I said. Yeah. And like I said, it's not Bible. So it's not Bible. I hope you're okay, girl. I hope you're okay. The next one we have then is, girls, it's a long one, but I really need your help and advice. Basically, my ex has recently got back in contact with me, but I'm afraid I'm just a booty call. I'm really upset over it because it took me so long to be okay without him. We broke up during the first lockdown because he wanted to be by himself, which I understood, as we were together from when we were 15 to 20. But by that Christmas, he had a new girlfriend, which completely shattered my heart. I tried to move on too, and I was seeing other people, but that was short-lived, because they just weren't him. I thought I was doing fine on my own, but now any time he messages me and, and, uh, and asks me over, which is always after a night out, I can't say no. I really do love him, but I'm afraid he's just using me. I'm just so worried I'll never love anyone again as much as I love him. What do you do when the person you want so badly finally wants you back, even if it is just for sex? He says sweet things to me like it isn't just a booty call, that there are feelings there on his behalf too, that it's always been different with us. And he can sense when I'm in a room before we before he even sees me. But he could be saying things I want to hear. I'm so sad and annoyed that I let myself down after building myself up after the breakup and it took me the guts of two years, but I just can't help how I feel. Thanks, girls. Love the pods. You've helped me more than you will ever know. Love you, bird. Um, from an outsider, I can understand both sides of this, like the way that you're looking at it. Like, it is hard to say no, even if it is just for sex because it is with somebody that you love. He's only using you because he's <laughs> able to use you, basically. Oh, is it? Yeah. I was going to say... He's only asking her over when she's drunk. Or when he's drunk. When you do love someone, it is hard to say no. Because all you want to do is just be in their company and... Yeah, no, absolutely. But, but he also is telling you what you want to hear. He's the one that cut the contact. And then the person has to do with it. She's still not over him either then. Yeah. It's just accepting it right. Like, do you get me? She loves him. She really she doesn't think she's going to find someone else. Him, but she needs to go find herself. Yeah. Yeah, like we get it, like the ride is a ride, but he's not 
the one with the heartbroken at the end of it. She is. She still. is, yeah. Like he's already moved on to someone else. Yeah, he might be like, oh, I can just get back in our pants because we already know each other. You kind of know from your situation. <laughs> you had, like, do you know what I mean, girl? But like, that's what it is. Yeah. It, just... Yeah, it is hard. I understand where she's coming from that when you just want one person, it doesn't matter the circumstance and seeing them, you're going to go and see them. Like, boom. And it's so easy because there's no everything about each other. So yeah. there's no explanation. It's Nothing just, is, it is new. what it is. Yeah, it's comfortable. I love how I have never had a relationship and I'm like, it just, it is what it is, you know? No, but it's comfortable. It's easy to fall back into. Like It's, it's a safety net. Yeah. Even though it's not a safety net in the you mind up, when yeah. you, end, you end up fucking yourself up in the head and you're overthinking everything. You'll end up more hurt. You really will. You'll do yourself more damage in the long run going back there. Like if you do genuinely think there is something there between the two of you and like things can be rebuilt you need to find out what that is the fact you use your ex as well it's easier to ask that like it's always easier to ask that question you need to know what the main question is what does he want though but like fizzle out at the start and then work on that if that's the case but also don't be sad and annoyed at yourself because you're only human at the end of the day and we all make mistakes baby Mm, we all need a shag every now and again (laughs) We all make mistakes. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. If you can point one person's life out that's perfect, go ahead and do it. Exactly. Until then, don't be so hard on yourself because we are only human. But I think do try and figure out from him what his goal is in this. Oh, 110%. He's not... Then again, he's not going to tell you it's just for the shag, but you'll you'll under, like you'll get the vibe off that if it is. But if you keep coming away from that situation, feeling bad in yourself... It's on, that's only going to get worse and worse and worse. And he knows the nice things to say to you to keep you there in order for yeah, you every to just man be a does. call. Yeah. I'd pack up and get the fuck out of there. Yeah. But again, I haven't been in a relationship to know what it's like to feel this. Yeah. I'm just picturing me ma breaking up with me or something. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. But no, you, yeah. You'll be okay, but I do think, try and find out what his goal in this is. The next one that we have then is, hey birds. 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 Hey birds, love listening to ye all the time. This is a country girl because she says ye. Ye. Leanne, do you say ye? Yeah, ye. My mum would say ye. Would would you read that as listening to ye or listening to yeah? Listening to ye. Ye. Is it? Yeah, ye is like multiple, yeah. I'm going to use that now. Love listening to ye. Ye. Ye, ye, ye. That's a limerick thing as well. Um, Okay. Love listening to you all the time. So, I'm with my boyfriend for six years now and we are so in love, but he still gets treated like a child. His mom does everything for him, like everything. Even his grandmother cleans his shoes, folds his clothes. It's actually ridiculous. We're both 21 now and he expects me to be like his mom and treat him like a child or a waitress. His mom has absolutely spoiled him since he was a child and he is the oldest and only boy in the house. When I say to him to do things himself, he doesn't understand why he has to do it and why yeah. I can't do it all for him. He's so lazy and because of how his mom raised him, it's causing us to fight a lot in our relationship. I love his mom. She is the sweetest, but she has ruined him. It's so hard to be with someone like this as everything falls on me and he thinks I should be picking up Picking things up after him. We don't live together, but his room at his house is always a friggin' mess. <laughs> like, disgusting. And his mom just cleans it. So I don't know what to do. It's so stressing and I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be a maid or a waitress to anyone for the rest of my life. I need advice, please, girls. I love this lad so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with him, but not like this. He's a little princess. Well. <laughs> come on. Um... You need to tell them to grow up. I saw something actually today. But they are about. very young as well. 20, 21 is young. Very young. And mothers and sons have a special oh, yeah. relationship, don't My they? My mom does everything for me. Yeah, mothers and sons. But like, the room doesn't get clean and sometimes it is a friggin' mess. Yeah. But I'm doing good. Yeah, I think mothers and sons have a different relationship than mothers and especially because he's her only son. Her only son. And the oldest. He's treated like golden oh, balls. Yeah. That's what we used to call my little brother at home. What? Golden balls. Golden balls? Yeah. It's just pride and joy of the house. I'll have to ask him, has he got golden balls? <laughs> Fuck off you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's your advice, baby? I think <clears throat> you need to approach this as a way of him understanding that you're coming from a good place and that it's you're saying this because you're cautious of their future. If you come at him all guns blazing, you lazy bastard, clean up after yourself. 
that is going to just bring on deflection, deflection, deflection. He's just going to push you away. And he'll get someone that will. He'll get, yeah, he'll find, yeah, exactly. Whereas and you don't want that. probably the right person to tell him because he can't be a mammy's boy all his life yeah. in the bad world. world. So you need to just say to him in a way that, listen, I'm thinking of our future here. I don't want you, if we eventually move out, I don't want you to rely on me the way you rely on your mom. Like, I think you need to grow up a little bit. Start looking after yourself. I know it's great that you live at home and that your mom does do all this for you, but... It needs would, to be more independent. Yeah, it would yourself. help our relationship. It would help yourself. Like, if you did things on your own, like, you, you're you going to have to move out one day. Your mommy always won't be there. And that is the main thing. Mommy always won't be there because no. you never guarantee tomorrow or no. never know what's going to happen. Exactly, so... I think the way you approach, like, he needs to know what... The best way for him to do it is to work on it bit by bit because you can't throw people that have been handed things all their life, all that at once. Yeah. As it is so easy for some people to do it. Mm-hmm. But, like, little bit by bit. And then help him out with that. Be like, look, I'll help you out with it, no worries, but I'm not being your ma. No, I'll yeah. help you get to where you're supposed to be and then we'll run off it from there, I'd say. Yeah. A trial and error, if you must. Yeah, yeah. Come at it as more of, like, a help thing rather than a... Yeah. Rather than a hear you, you lazy bastard. Pros and cons, as me and Charlie would say. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. I think it's the way you approach it and the way you say it is going to really benefit the situation instead. Yeah, but also just heads up, they're probably going to just jump back with fire because they won't. They don't see the wrong in (laughs) it at all. Like because it's been done for them all their life, it should just be done for them. Once they're mommy's boy, so they're probably just going to jump straight back like guns blazing, like. Like you said, deflect, deflect, deflect. Mm. So just be ready for it. Be ready Talk for it. Me and just tell him this is how I feel. Yeah. And if you can't see it, you're the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. There you go now. You're the problem. Hi, girls. Love Hi. the podcast. I'm going to speak for Charlene. Love you, love you. Hello, hello. I'm, I've just turned 24 and out of a 10 year relationship. This is the only boy I have ever had sex with in the last few years. It has come very stale in this area. I now feel like I'm very inexperienced in this and any time I get to near to that stage with a new boy, I chicken out with the fear that I won't be good at it and will embarrass myself. Have you any tips or tricks to help me build up confidence in this area? There's no you let me read this out because you know I'm single all my life and no. last time I had Jiggy was I don't know how long. No better man to ask. Experience in the area, in uh, the bedroom. Mm, I mean, look at that camera going red. I don't know. Like, uh, no, like it does be going in and out and drips and drops. Yeah. How long am I now? Oh, yonks. Yonks. But I don't care. I'm just having a ball with all my friends yeah. and I'm loving life. But no. now, you just need to go half a letter, girl. Just know yeah. you're out there and go for it in the most confident way ever. And you will just know. Yeah. You just need to be so confident in yourself and everything you do. Even trick yourself and like tell Rihanna yourself. Like Rihanna says, fake it till you're me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trick yourself and tell yourself that you're... That you're good at this. The baddest bitch out there. And you just kind of, this is very awkward because we're talking about sexy time. You just need to kind of, no, I'm not saying ah, it. Say I'm not it. saying it. Say it. I'm going bright red yeah, here. No, and, say uh, it. What were you going to say? You just need to kind of walk. No, I'm not saying it. Come on. I don't have to say No. No, <laughs> because you're going to fucking, no. No, I'm not saying it. No. <laughs> Come on. What were you going to no, say? No, I'm just giving her We advice. need your advice. <laughs> we need your just advice. Just go half a letter. Yeah. Just go half a letter, don't stop. Just don't get on top because them knees will buckle, girl. Oh, it's very... Nice and book. you'll just put yourself <laughs> in the Debbie Downer. Just try don't go on top. Yeah, no, wouldn't. Uh, maybe get yourself some lingerie. I love lingerie. Since get my boobs. Lingerie, lingerie will spruce it up straight yeah. away. So that's brownie pints are ready for them. Love a bit of lingerie. When you feel good, you'll do good. Uh, how are you on down in the... No, I can't, I can't. Why can we, can we... You can say whatever. You say blowjob area? You can say blowjob all you want. Okay. How are we giving the blowjob now, girl? You, you need to be good at me? that. No. Oh, my heart. Okay. I'm bombing it, but you need to be good at it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Because it just makes them happy. It's one yeah. little thing that makes them happy. It is. Says the fella that's still single. <laughs> don't feel embarrassed. Please don't. No, it's a natural thing. Because they do. can feel that off you. If you feel, if you like, feel like that. If you project yes. that off them. You need to project it. You're like you are the most confident sexiest. girl in the world and just yeah. go out and do it. And look. It's not going to be completely perfect. No, yeah, no. Like I said, no, no one's separate. perfect. Yeah. But it will eventually come back to you and you'll get your mojo back. Yeah. Start small. Bit of lingerie. Look, it's kind of like a muscle, like they say, because I learned this in Crumbling College. If you don't use it, you lose it. Oh. But when you start using it, it will come back to you. I think definitely bit of lingerie. Make yourself feel good. Get your toenails painted. <laughs> 
a lot. She's asking about sex at home and you're telling her to go yeah, out Yeah, but if, if you look good, you feel good. Like, put on some sexy music. Yeah, put on a little bit of music. Watch a bit of porn if that's your thing. So yeah. Know, yeah. Whatever you're into. Just know feel good. how good it was and what you're doing to make it good and then put that on the new lads and see how it goes in. And or if blow them out you can't put the full, like, steps in, even try to put one or two in. Yeah. Start small. Start, no, start girty. Ooh, <laughs> I like that one. That's us. I like me. that one. <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> That's us. I get a few roses up. I get them. Oh, God. That's us this week, Sean. Oh. Thank you so much for coming in. We love you. I love you. You're um, always more than welcome. I kept your seat warm. He did. I couldn't do as good as you done, but I gave it my all because no what? We're only human. There's no one else I'd rather have sitting here. So you can send your dilemmas into holdmydrinkatgoloudnow.com. Uh, if they're not in the main episode on the Wednesday, they could be in the bonus and the extra juice on Monday. That's it. And the inbox is flooded, birds. Um, and if you have any nice single men, 27 and up, yeah. medium broad, possible farmer, possible not. Yeah. Um, I'm free. Sean is free. So. That's us. Thank you again to Primark Pennies for sponsoring this week's episode. Thanks to my new husband in there that cycled the bike <laughs> and Lilo for having me. <laughs> Thank and you Ellie you. is bringing me for motherfucking yeah, we're going lunch. for a Valentine's lunch now but make sure to like, rate and subscribe to the podcast. The main episode will be out on Wednesday and we love you, love. Five star rating for the girls because they're bomb and I love them. Love you, love. Bye. Bye. Love you. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.